Okay. I guess we should just do the disclaimer, right? Like if you're watching the video, this is not the show. The show is actually to be found at fivegallonsound.com slash podcast, where you can subscribe in iTunes or listen there on the player or download to whichever pod fetcher you happen to use. Does that make sense? It's a pod fetcher. Mm -hmm. you, you fucking know it, kids. <laughs> also, there's explicit language. Listen. Radio. I beg your pardon, what'd you say? That's why I want you to go on the radio. Your voice would be sensational. You're listening to the Five Gallon Podcast. What do they want with us? There is no doubt that we are dealing with a mechanical monster. What's he talking about? I think it's an experimental model operated by a crew of midgets. Bringing you the best of independent music from around the globe. Wait a minute, what goes on in here? Welcome to the Five Gallon Podcast, episode 174. I'm Corey. And I'm Woody. And I'm Ray. Unbelievable. It's like I forgot about you. Yeah, you did. I know. But you're back. I'm back with a random baby. Now we begin our exciting adventure of... Okay. Lemuria is up with cannonballs to hurt. Refreshing. Refreshing. Good as they can be. All right, so the warning for the people who watch the video who are obviously voyeuristic and bizarre. Hello. Hello. And thank you. you. don't run in real time. This is not real. <laughs> <laughs> and we are not going to play the songs for you, jerks, because it's an audio show. But we love you. We do still love you, though. Good okay, morning. Stop watching me. Download it, perverts. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. What? Five Gallon Podcast. Amazing, huh? Wow. Wow. We're balls deep in independent music. Razor Ray Kitney, drummer extraordinaire. So good to hear your voice again. Good to be back. You know what happened is Woody came out here to the beach. And then I just and forgot about everybody. Just taking phone. up all your time. He just usurped all of my attention. That's what I that's my middle name. My middle name is the usurper. Well, welcome back it's, to the show, man. It's good to have you. It's it's like when you get the new girlfriend and you ignore all your friends. Is it kinda like that, Woody? I don't like that analogy at all. Yeah. I don't really know how I feel about that either. <laughs> oh, oh man. Uh, you know what? That's the meeting that we were supposed to have. Phone call. Should I take it? Let's take it on the air. Let's do it. Alright, I'm not gonna take it on the air. Real time. Well alright, I'll take it on your hand. Yeah, Hello. Good, man. Hey, can we call you back in a little bit? You're fucking late. <laughs> All right. Hello. 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 Look, my headphones broke. Oh, <laughs> they did. <laughs> Ray, is that a, is that a commission? Got to, uh, Stop the show. I'm going to have to carry this. I'm never stopping the show. No, keep doing it. This is Ray. Ray, when is it acceptable to have a mustache, or is there even such a thing anymore? When you're old. Okay, how old? Probably my age. We threw this out here a couple days ago, and it was try and name four people that have a good mustache. Mm -hmm. And we struggled for a while. It's hard. You want to try it? Lanny McDonald. I don't know who that is. Oh, oh, that's wow. a great one. We I didn't think of that. I don't know who that is. It's a hockey player. I, I know. <laughs> Google him. So Back mad. in the day of Gretzky. Calgary was, Flames, Lanny McDonald. I swear to God, yeah. you make me so angry. You say that the that was a good handlebar. I know who the Calgary Flames are. <laughs> All right, so, and we came up, obviously, with the, with Tom Selleck. That yeah, was the first yeah, that'd be a good one. Burt Reynolds was thrown in the mix. Cody Rose. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Either. He's a wrestler. Okay. So we're going to have to Google Cody And they Rose. make fun of his mustache lately. Interesting. Well, we saw uh, that Cheers episode tonight with Alex Trebek. Ah. Uh -huh. And of course... Refresh my memory of that one. Though. Yeah, okay, well, do right, you want to take that wood? Uh, of the Tears episode? Yeah. With, when uh, Cliff Clavin goes on Jeopardy yeah. and he uh, blows it all at the end. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Bets all his money and he gets a question wrong and uh, gets mad at the world. Who are three people that have never been in my kitchen? <laughs> Let's watch some TV, shall we? <laughs> well, I've been generally fearful about everything. So uh, this just fits in with the general sense of anxiety that uh, I always experienced in my early early life uh, and take out about 10 cc's of funny and be ready for that and be okay with that serious guy 
serious solo artist. He had dropped out of school by that time and spent most of his time staying at home. His girlfriend lived in the house and his uh, grandmother lived in the house and his aunt and his uncle lived across the street. And uh, A squid eating dough in a polyethylene bag. The band's inception started when Alex St. Clair... I don't know where I got these from, segments. These are not good. ...down from Lake Tahoe. He came back to Lancaster and... Um, what, what were they? It know. was more... Generally, he was... Usually more entertaining. When did you, were you drunk <laughs> when you did this? I was probably we, sober. If, if we were living in Bible times, that uh, they would take us outside the city gates... Well, what did you write down? And that, ...that type of stuff. Now, now, here comes the music. Music. So long. On the farm, she pretty. The first one was... And now... <laughs> All right, then. Let's like the first one. It was good. Yeah, it was okay. Things you know, that, hit and miss. Of my life. Hit, hit and miss. That's the way this world works. Sam Elliott. Who's that? Okay, you know the guy from uh, Roadhouse? Mm -hmm. and the guy Roadhouse! Who does, uh, the Dodge Ram commercials. Uh, right. Yeah. yeah with oh, that's the other one. Right. Great mustache. My name, I... Yes. Amazing. But I don't think without being like a hipster doofus, you can get away with a mustache now. No, I don't think you can either. Like, you can have an ironic mustache, but you can't have like a real... Uh, it's a mustache. Well, that's what we were saying before. So you, you walk down the road and you see a bunch of people with mustaches, but, but none of them look good. So that's the age thing you're saying, right? Yeah, I think so. But they're all under the chops now, aren't they? The chops and the goat feet. Are chops back? I think so. Yeah. I, I don't shouldn't know. be. I don't think so. I hope not. You know, I grow a ridiculous beard. I've seen pictures you grow of a ridiculous beard. back hair. Yeah, I do. I do, actually. So, <laughs> really, I'm Wolfman. Wolfman coats. Wolfman. 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 Ray, I got a question for her. Why, why is it so cold in Canada now? I don't know. We had like a few weeks of like blazing balls off hot. I'm totally confused yeah. because you guys are like basically on the ice planet hot up there. Yeah. Is, is there a point where summer, like summer has hit and then it was great and then it's gone? Or do you think it's coming back? And it's like a sucky, warm fall. Mm. With the heat of blaze for his back there. Do you guys remember the summer that never was? Ah, I love that summer. You guys know the summer I'm referring to? No. There was a summer, it was maybe about 10 years ago. Maybe longer, maybe 15 years ago. So what are you on even more? I was not. And it was one of those summers where you thought by the time June was, you know, kicking in, that the weather was going to turn, but it didn't. And then practically every weekend, it was just rain, wind, and cold. And the next thing you know, it's October. It's over. There's been a couple of those. It was the summer that never was. It's a great title. Great title. Another question for Ray. Why is my liver mad at me? Your liver's mad at you? I think it is. Because you've stopped drinking? No, I'm still drinking. <laughs> Are you drinking more? I, uh, I, uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I think that's my fault. Well, it's because you left the house last night. Uh, you, you did too? No, but I mean, uh, we learned something last night, Ray, is that, for example, if we go out and get like four forties of beer, oh. and we put them in a fridge, and then Woody's like, okay, I've got to go out for a bit, I'll be right back. The, the beer won't be here. Yeah, it's back. all gone when I got back. <laughs> it's gone for like an hour. That's a lot of beer. To be fair, it wasn't just you. No, no, it was... Uh, four alcoholic girls that were here. Four alcoholic women drinking with me. Yeah, four was, women and one Corey. Wait a minute, is Matt a woman? Well, kind of. You know what? A little bit. For the sake of the argument. Actually, there were two alcoholic women and me because, uh, you know, Izzy, Izzy can't, didn't. she's got a bleeding stomach. She's a <laughs> bragger. Yeah. I don't know. She's, uh, yep. Does she have a middle name? Ooh. Bleeding stomach. Yeah, that's like a blues name. Well, no, because she's, uh, <laughs> Izzy Bleeding Stomach Coda. She's Izzy Mexican, also Coda. So there's no much, she has four names, right? Yeah, that's true. Well, let's, what's so the uh, sign one is the middle? Why don't we do that? Relax. Relax. Take it slow. And let the good times roll. On the five gallon bonkers. And this one is. Why did 
did I reverse that tag? What the hell is that? That makes no sense. You're drunk. Yeah, I've been drinking too much. Yeah, just in life. We also talked about, last time we were talking about uh, sign, signing and signing dirty things in sign language. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's a, a thing, too. That's a thing. All right, well, now we have to talk about something else. So. Can you turn the uh, playback on? Yeah. Is that better? I got the same. As long as it does bury the voice. Ray, we got a problem here, amongst all the other problems that we have. Well, we are super What's addicted to Rock of Ages, the movie. Oh, I love it. Now I have to go find it. Oh, God, you haven't seen it. No. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Uh... <laughs> okay, are you familiar with what this movie is? No. <sighs> what do you want to take it? I would love to take it. Do it. It is a musical with... Alec Baldwin and Tom Cruise, among other people, and they basically sing 80s classic songs. through. Now, are through they really hours. singing or are they lip syncing it? Nope, they really sing it. They're really singing oh, it. Jesus. And it's so good because it's based on the Broadway musical that was like super successful. And then they made it into a movie and uh, it, it's just simply glorious. And Tom Cruise plays this drugged out rock star kind of just out of it. And it's, it does it really, really well. So the whole thing takes place in 1987 Hollywood. You know, where a girl gets on a bus from, what, Oklahoma or something? Yep. Tulsa. Decides to go to uh, Hollywood and make it as a singer. You know, So it's, it's like, like a poison song. It's And there are poison yeah. songs. There are. <laughs> it's, Journey. It's oh, amazing because it's all the girl meets boy in Hollywood 1987. Great rock music going on. Def Leppard. The tunes are just killer. The tunes are simply killer. So it's all about the life I dreamed of living as a teenager. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's exactly that. And they do all these really great medleys where they combine tunes. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm actually going to do like a bag to bag of some of the medleys that I loved off of it. Russell Brand, is in it? Oh yeah, check this shit out. Fixed all my tags. They're all wrong. You did a medley. What's wrong with my tags? That's weird. What's going on? I don't understand. I know what I probably did. I probably did something stupid. Like I always do. <laughs> I'll have to go fix them. Oh, no. Good times. Great times. Good times. Anyway, just so you guys can speak intelligently about it, what we just played was uh, Don't Stop Believing. But also ahead of that was Sister Christian, which is also a medley between Sister Christian, uh, Ain't Nothing But a Good Time, mm -hmm. and Paradise City, all in one tune. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long is your medley? Pretty long. Okay. Well, I mean, it's like, it's the bag to bag. I want to say we, we touched on this a little bit, I think, in a previous show. Is that when I put this movie on, which Woody didn't believe existed. I didn't, I didn't think it did. And the first tune kicked in. His eyes lit up like a little schoolboy. <laughs> Five minutes in, I was all about... We were, we were going to watch 15 minutes, but we waited for food. But we were all in after five minutes. I want to watch it almost every day. I kind of do. And I'm walking around, Ray, with all of these great 80 tunes going through my head once again. You need the soundtrack. I have the soundtrack. Ah, <laughs> Check. Yep. <laughs> and, uh... You have a poster on your wall yet? No. There's going to be soon. Oh, we should get a poster. We should get a poster. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you guys are probably going to dress up like them for Halloween, too, right? Uh, Could I go as 1987 for Halloween? Raymond. <laughs> That's amazing. That's right. That's, man, you're a thinker. I like that. I'm telling you. Hmm. God. Hmm. Get out your leopard find... skin track pants. Yeah. We got to do a little bit of FU. Ashless, ashless chaps. But yes. uh, FU with a little bit of WTF thrown into it. Yeah. We, we threw a contest last week, Ray, and, and nobody has responded yet. I listened, but I didn't think I was allowed to respond since I got sent a LinkedIn message thing. I was invited to say that I worked for you guys. Oh, did you accept that you worked for us? I did. Oh, that's nice. Hey. I, li I like to lie. Welcome aboard. You know, there was this thing on the Facebook, and I'll get back to the FU, but there was a thing where it's like, who has worked with you on this project or in this company? It's like, all right, yeah, here, are these people have. I didn't realize that what it means when they accept, it goes on their Facebook page that they actually work work there. Yep. 
Oh yeah. You've got a big staff there. Yeah, and well, I, I understand and why a lot of us people. are getting paid. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna put all the people out of the panelist on the show, and then you know, people are emailing me, go, um, I, I, I love you, man, but I can't say that I work there. You know, because they have real job jobs type jobs. See, I'm needy enough to say that I work there. Yeah, I don't care. Well, let's blast out the contest again because we, you know we had a drink or two last week. Or four or seven. Eleven. Based largely on cacique, which is guaro, which is kind of the sugarcane vodka, rum, the, uh, rum. the embryonic version of rum. Prepubescent and fresca. And we, I mean, we mixed it up with some squirt this week. Kind of nice. That was different. You have wink over there? Try it with some wink. I've never had it with wink. I don't know if we even have that here. What's wink? You've never it's had wink? Fruit I've never had wink. Mm, it's it's another fresca, but not diet. It is. It's fruity and it's delicious. So the contest is, we need you guys to name that drink. We've had one submission, but it came from in-house, so that doesn't count. It is the front runner, though. Oh, man. What are we doing here? Email. Um, awkward. Oh, man. Awkward Ray. Yeah, Ray, what'd you have for dinner tonight? I had chicken. Chicken with potatoes. How'd you cook it? On the barbecue on a rotisserie and I smoked the bitch. <laughs> what kind of what kind of wood chips did you use? I used mesquite. You're still into that. You get the big bags of wood chips, huh? Oh yeah. God, that's, that's right. Delicious. <laughs> it's all about how much carbon you can dump into your body through your meat. You know, we, we grilled tonight too. We had some uh, pork tenderloin. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't finish our potato. We oh I can't eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Two softies over here. Two softies, yeah. Anyway, if, uh, if you guys want to name that drink, it's five dollar podcast at Gmail. Yeah, Cam. Phone. This is Psychic Friend with Once a Servant. See, that was all funny when I did it right. <laughs> Gotta check this one. This one's probably wrong too. Now. Stay tuned for the new enhanced five gallon podcast brought to you from our new production facility located in beautiful. Costa Rica, welcome to the jungle, baby. Yeah. Oh man, all my tags are fucked. I don't know, fix those later. Mama, Dana, Mark, Dana. It's the end of the show. How is that possible? <laughs> God. Is it really? <laughs> it is, man. That was it? We're terrible. Jesus. Oh. Oh. How does this happen? How do we come to the end like that? because you don't play the songs that's what she said <laughs> i feel like we we didn't really talk about anything today we didn't i think we we're getting a rock of ages poster that's i think we've accomplished that that's pretty good we did run a contest. you guys can work on your halloween costumes not till october oh god we could start now god no we're start. it's already starting i'm gonna cut my mind cutting the ass out of my pants later on <laughs> <laughs> that might just be a good look in general because i don't really have a very well tanned bum hmm oh there's an image. Hey, we found out what Ray ate for dinner to eat. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken to eat me. Eat. <laughs> Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the past tense of me is you. All right, Ray, you got any final I... thoughts for tonight? Nope. Nothing. What? I got nothing. I'm empty. <laughs> You're the guy who always has final thoughts. That's why we... I... You embarrassed me the last time I was prepared. Oh, Ray prepares. Yeah. He's always ready. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> There. Lady who fly upside down have no hair by Trekkie. No, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> Lady who slide down banister have no hair by Cracky. Oh my god. Lady who fly upside down have hair have crack up. <laughs> it's, I love you. Ray. Are you are you cracking into fortune cookies down there? No, no, that's when's my father All bless right. his soul. Who's in that carbon? So, <laughs> do you guys want to do the uh, sponsors for me? <laughs> Fresh books. Freshbooks.com. <laughs> Squarespace. Go on Squarespace and do all things that you do at the old Squarespace. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, get your new domain. I don't know the name of it, though. E-music. Yeah. No. E -mu no, no, that's not. That's, that's something else. E-music. -music. Here's one, though. E-music, E-music, E-music. Do that. Mm -hmm. Google that. Yeah, click it. Corey, get some money. <laughs> Let's pay Corey. 
yeah. we're missing one. Um, Corey, what's the other one? Hover. Hover. Hover.com. Oh, that's right. Hover. That's the uh, the domain one, right? Yeah. You know, I was over at emusic.com, and that's their new uh, slogan. Click it. Click it. <laughs> click it. Click <laughs> it. I want to thank all the sponsors for uh, sticking with me. Clickety, and, uh, clickety. I just want to say goodbye. I love you. Portions of today's programming are reproduced by means of tape recording. Luna lovers. On the final scaling. Oh, my tags are all wrong. Uh, oh. That is the best sponsor segment yet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? That's um that's the way it works. We just say each one five times and then it's fine. Oh, it looks like I got some editing ahead of me tonight. Big surprise. <laughs> Big surprise. Uh, make, make, make surprise. All right, I gotta cut the.